First into the den, two sisters proposing a toast to their mission to transform women's lives, a road that's already been particularly rocky. There's been so many ups and downs on our journey so far, and I think we've, we've learned to sort of embrace the fear. Their next hurdle, facing the dragons. It's, it's terrifying. It is absolutely terrifying. Okay. I guess that's why they're called dragons. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, well, I hope they're friendly dragons. My name is Lucy and this is my business partner and sister, Lerin. Together we have designed, developed, crowdfunded for and launched Holto, the simple solution to neck pain caused by Holto Neck Swimwear. We're asking today for a £50,000 investment in return for 15% shares in our company, Jilly Rocks Limited. Bra sizes in the UK are on the increase, with the average now being a 36 double D and having a weight of around two and a half pounds per boob. Holter neck swimwear ties at the back of the neck, meaning the wearer is carrying around five pounds of weight in this area, often causing bruising, rubbing, neck aches, headaches and blisters. Holto fits any tie strap Holter neck bikini by simply feeding the straps through the holes and tying on the back of the neck as normal. The harder top layer holds the knot in place and stops it digging into the wearer's spine and the soft undercushion offers protection from the cheese wire effect of the straps. We started trading just nine months ago and within two weeks we were stocked on the shelves at National Retailer Bravissimo. Holto is the first commercial solution to this problem outside of North America. Holto retails at 9 99 for a pack of two and it's selling well both on and offline. For those dragons not familiar with the Holto ache, we have some weighted bikinis for you to try. So thank you for listening. Please take some samples and ask any questions you may have. Who'd like to try a bikini first? <laughs> oh, <go ahead. laughs> oh, that's very brave of you. A bold pitch from sisters Lucy Cox and Lerin Clare. Nice bright colour to match the <laughs> They're looking for £50,000. So this is the average bra size in the UK. For 15% of their company, making a device that spreads the load of a halter neck top. That is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our world. <laughs> I've never felt breasts as heavy as this. <laughs> While Tuka Suleiman struggles to get to grips with the mock-up, Peter Jones is in search of the product's specific function. What does it really do in terms of, is it just purely a bar of support in that, in that neck area? So if I was to wear a halter neck bikini, it would just hurt. So you put it on, you think that's kind of uncomfortable. Then you're moving around, you're running around after the kids and within an hour, it's almost unbearable. The next day, I still have bruising on the back of my neck from it. It still really hurts. So it is a really big problem, but there's just no solution to it until now. Okay, so you've been going nine months. How much have you turned over in nine months? This financial year, we have so far turned over 14,000. Out of that 14,000, what was your margin? The margin that we have at the moment when selling to trade at £4.50 is a 68% gross profit margin. So what do they cost you? £1.42 per unit. The entrepreneurs demonstrate a good grasp of the business basics. Now Tej Lalvani has some first-hand experience of the problem, he wants to know where people are buying the product. The 14,000 sales that you do, how much of that is sold online and at the, at the store? So about 3% of that is via um, UK e-commerce and 2% of that is exporting at the moment. So 95% of that is going at the moment to 
To retail? To, yeah, to, to retailers. And you mentioned that outside North America earlier, so does that mean the competitors doing the same product in America? Or? There is one product in North America. Currently they're only selling via small independent stores in America and their turnover is approximately £140,000. They've been going for around... 10 years, I think. Yeah. That's not good news. Uh, it shows the market size is not very big. All their ambition. Slow sales of a rival product across the pond have given Tej Lalvani cause for concern over the size of the opportunity. Could Jenny Campbell have a more positive insight that the male dragons have missed? I'm sort of sitting here musing and enjoying the boys' conversation, um, <laughs> but trying to relate it to uh, my own experience. I totally recognise the problem you describe. But the, the other angle I was thinking about is, for me, when I'm tanning my back and I lie down, I tend to go boop. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, which can be dangerous, but um, <laughs> you, you just have to be careful. Don't get up quickly. <laughs> so one, I'm thinking, can I just do that when this is hanging off it? And two, then, when I have to very carefully put it back together again while it's lying on one stomach, I'm not sure that I can do all of this stuff actually, very easily. Actually, it's easier, because by, by keeping it on, you can actually pull the strap out and just pull it over the top and then you can just put that back over your head and tie it up. One of the things that a swimwear manufacturer who approached us really liked about the product is the fact that a lot of his customers were very concerned about wearing this style in case some cheeky person just came along and did that <laughs> and their boobs fell out. And actually, what this does is it does offer some protection from that actually happening. <laughs> and, that, and that was a big selling point for them. OK. Jenny Campbell gets to the bottom of the practicalities of the product. Does high-end fashion guru Tuka Suleiman feel the sisters have invented an industry-changing innovation? You girls are great. Thank you. But your product's not. This is not going to make you any money. Enthusiasm, passion, drive, you've got it. But any swimwear manufacturer could just make those for cents without the packaging and include it in their swimsuit. I think you're great, the pair of you, and I just wish you came here with a different product because I don't believe that this is, for me anyway, in investable. I'm sorry, but I'm out. Too easily copied is the verdict of Tuka Suleiman, who becomes the first dragon down. Time to see if Deborah Meaden's seen anything to make her want to offer financial support to the business. You've actually done a very good job on producing this. The branding, I think, is lovely. I totally get the product. So I have no criticism at all, which often then follows with us, so I'm going to make you an offer. Not in this instance, because I don't share your view that this is a big market. What is going to happen is that if it becomes a really popular product, it'll just be commoditized. It will be cheap. You won't be getting £9.99 and therefore it either becomes cheap as chips and you've got to sell hundreds and hundreds of thousands of them, which I don't think you will, or it stays expensive and it doesn't, you don't sell that many of them. I won't be investing in this. I'm out. Deborah Meaden fails to see the product's potential for profitability and joins Tuka Suleiman in withdrawing from the deal. Will Tej Lalvani's newfound sympathy for the problem be enough to convince him to stick his neck out with an offer? I'll tell you where I am. Obviously, my knowledge in this area is very tiny, and today I've learned a hell of a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, obviously, for, uh, the market is tiny, and your example of the US, and US is people consider one of the largest markets in the world. And if they're doing uh, 140,000 pound sales, it, uh, it should have shows the limit of the scope. But I wish you the best of luck, but I'm out. Lucy Lerin, um, I think the product and therefore the, the business opportunity actually is not as big as the assets that it's supposed to support. <laughs> so, on that basis, sadly, I'm out. OK, thank, thank you, you, Peter. Peter Jones becomes the fourth dragon to refuse to get behind the product. 
Now only Jenny Campbell remains. Can she add some financial muscle to prop up the enterprise? You are both a credit to female entrepreneurs. You really <laughs> are. You. Not in just the product, the, the, the issue you've identified, the product you've developed, but I don't see the market here. So I wish you all the best, but I'm out. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Good luck, girls. Thank you. Good Thank luck, you ever so, so much. much. Thank Bye. You. Nice Bye. We'll make it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be <You're> puppeteering. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny Campbell reluctantly decides not to take the plunge and the sisters leave the den without the £50,000 they were looking for. That's what it is. Yeah, that's just not, not part of our journey. No, exactly. Well, thank God I didn't have to wear this every day, that's all. I think you look quite good in it. <laughs> the show went really well, actually. They loved us, didn't they? They did, yeah. yeah. We got a round of applause, you know. I think if we'd done all of it, they would have invested, but, you know, we didn't. I know. We shouldn't leave it up to them, really, should we? No, no.